Hello guys, this is Renny here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Adrenaline on your PS Vita. If you don't know what Adrenaline is, it's pretty much a program that allows you to run PSP games on your Vita and even has some extra features like save state um, loading and even upscales games depending on your preferences. Now, in order to run this program, we're going to need a PSP game or a demo from the PSN store. Now, this can be any PSP game or any PSP game, um, demo, as long as it is a PSP game or demo. All right, so the first and most important thing to do in order to run this program is to have Tai Henaku installed on your Vita. And no, I'm not referencing to Henaku, but instead Tai Henaku, which is one step up from Henaku. Now, in order for Tai Henaku to install, you must deactivate your Henaku exploit, which is usually done by turning off your Vita and turning it back on. From there, you'll open your Vita's web browser and go to this web link, beta.henaku.xyz. From there, Tai Henaku will install and you will be able to go on with this tutorial. Now, if the browser crashes after and keyword after the molecule slash Henaku installation page, do not worry, Tai Henaku has been installed successfully. Once Tai Henaku is enabled on your system, you're gonna go to Molecule Shell, and once open, hit Start, and this menu will pop up. Now you're gonna scroll down to Enable Unsafe Homebrew, and set that to On by clicking X. It'll give you your warning, don't worry about it, what we're doing is completely safe. Hit X again. All right, so once this is on, it's gonna require you to reboot your system in order for it to take effect. Now, this means you must reinstall Tai Henaku again after the reboot. All right, so once you're done installing Tai Henaku again, you're gonna go ahead and head back to the Molecule Shell bubble and set up the FTP server by hitting Select. All right, so from here, we're gonna head back to our computers and download the latest version of Vita Shell. Then we're going to grab our FTP client, which in my case is the Windows 8 file explorer, which I typed the IP address or the address that the Vita gave me into the little bar here. After that, I'm going to go into the UX0 folder and then data and transfer my Vita shell.vpk into that folder. All right, so after that's been transferred, we're gonna head back to our PS Vitas and find where we put our Vita shell.bbk and install it. Now, once again, do not worry about the warning because what we're doing is completely safe. We're not messing with any partitions or anything like that. But anyways, we're gonna wait for it to install. It has this habit of hanging hanging out at 99% and then finishing install. So like, it'll hang there for like about like five to 10 seconds. But anyways, once we are done installing it, we're going to head back to our live area and open up Vita Shell. Alright, so once Vita Shell is open, you're set up the FTP server by hitting select on your Vita. And then we're going to head back to our computer. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download our Adrenaline um, program, which is in the link in the description. So it's this link right here, Adrenaline 6.61. You're going to go to that link, download it, open the zip. And from here, we're going to open up our FTP client so that we can transfer over these files. So file explorer, for my part, I'm using file explorer. You can use Firezilla, whatever. FTP slash type in this address, 192.168.2.5. Yep. All right, that's open. We're going to go to UX0. So UX0. Then we're going to go to PSP MU. Where is it? Let's see. I'm in PSP MU. And then what we're going to do is we're this folder, we're going to paste it over into your, our PSP MU. So there it is, Adrenaline. From here, we're also going to grab a, 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 a um, 6.61 PSP eBoot. So six, let's type it in in Google, and it should be on the Sony website. So yeah, here it is, PSP. First load, and we're gonna hit download. All right, so let's give us a few seconds. And we're gonna put this, this PBP, this PBP into our adrenaline folder here. 
So you're just gonna copy, grab it, boom, boom, boom. Wait for it to transfer. And then we're gonna head back to UX0 tie and find the tie folder. So let's give it a second. Boom, boom. Okay, so this is done transferring. We're gonna head back to UX0. And we're gonna find the tie folder. So right there. And we're gonna copy this, the config.txt, to our desktop. Okay, so once the config.txt is on your desktop, you're gonna open it using Notepad++. Now you can use the normal Notepad that comes with your laptop, but the way it's formatted is just ugly. Like if I show you right now, a second, here's a normal Notepad. And it's just one big straight line, which I do not like. It's kind of annoying. So I'm gonna be using Notepad++. So edit with Notepad++. You see how it's in this format. All right, so we're gonna be copying two things. First thing is right under this thing, um, star kernel right here. We're going to be copying these two lines. Where is it? Or oh, sorry, one line. This right here. So, boom. Copy. It's in it's in the description below. You can copy and paste it. So, here, copy. Right, right under the star kernel. And then, next up, we're going to copy this entire thing, including the star at title ID. So, boom. Copy. Copy. And just, just add that. Oops. And I'm going to add this under the henaku.c suprix. So right under there. Boom. Title ID. All right. So this right here, the title ID is going to be the title ID of your base game. So I'm using Loco Roca Midnight Carnival. And all the title ID of that is right here. Now to find a title ID, you just simply find the PSP save game, um, save folder of your game. So say you had, I don't know, Hot Wheels. The PS on the save folder for Hot Wheels, um, the name of it will be your title ID of the game. So yeah, anyways, so my title ID for Local Roco Midnight Club is right here. So I'm gonna copy and replace title ID with the name of my game. Boom, boom, and just save it. And now we're gonna open up back our um, we're gonna connect back to our Vita using the FTP client. So once again, I am using. This one, one nine right here. And I'm gonna replace the config file that's on my Vita with the new config file we just made. So, oops, close that. Boom. Where is it? Here. So let me save this. It's saved. Close and drag and drop into here. And it should replace it. Give it a few seconds. Yes to all. Boom, boom. All right, so now all we have to do is reboot our Vitas and reinst reinstall Taihenoku once more, and our Adrenaline program should be working. All right, so next up, all you're gonna do is reboot your Vita and use your web browser to reinstall Taihenoku once more. From there, we're gonna go to our base game or our exploit game, which in my case was Local Roco Midnight Carnival Demo. Head over there open it up and follow the on-screen instructions. Now, installation should take around 20 seconds or so, but from there, it should instantly ask you to boot into your PSP emulation, whatever you wanna call it, XMB. All right, and there you go. You're now able to run Adrenaline on your Henneku enabled Vita. All right, so I hope this video helped you out, like extremely helped you out, I hope you're happy, because to be honest, this is a highly anticipated program for it or exploit, whatever you wanna call it, for the Vita. Now, if you're wondering how to transfer PSP games and plugins and all that fun stuff onto the Vita, I'll be doing that in my next video, which is coming out in about an hour or two. But anyways, while you're here, hit that like button, it really helps. And subscribe if you wanna be up to date with your PS Vita and other hacking news. I cover, I'm gonna be covering everything, so yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm just a Renny. I'll be seeing you later. Peace, have fun, and enjoy your new Henneku-enabled, well, at least adrenaline-enabled Vita. Anyways, laters.